Hi, this is Carlos Cousins, and the following ACT Humanities uh, question is asking for the meaning of uh, a phrase here in the context of the passage. I've included the paragraph with line 35 in it, so we can take a look at it. Um, let's go ahead and read the topic sentence first, and then read a sentence before and after to try to figure out what's going on. For the most part, I minded not how the hours went. So this paragraph is going to be about how you stopped worrying about time and did something else. Line 35, then. Uh, comes right after, uh, it looks like this is the previous uh, independent clause here, let's go ahead and, oh, nope, never mind, it's this one here, let's go ahead and read from here. Uh, instead of singing like the birds, I silently smiled at my incessant good fortune. Oh, actually, yeah, so that means, uh, before that it says, it was morning, and lo, now it is evening, and nothing memorable is accomplished. Okay, so uh, nothing too big happened. Instead of singing like the birds, I silently smiled at my incessant good fortune. So instead of, you know, accomplishing anything, doing a lot of work, he looked around and really enjoyed himself. He thought he was fortunate for, look, you know, sort of being there, surrounded in this environment. And the next sentence says, As a sparrow had its trail sitting on the hickory before my door, so I had my chuckle, or suppressed warble, you can call it, which he might hear out of my nest. So he was like the animals a little bit. Um, that he wasn't really doing anything other than just enjoying himself, um, looking around. So, okay. Thoreau feels then that his incessant good fortune, you would think, is caused by his subsistence farming. Well, no. It says nothing memorable is accomplished. It's, you know, what he did, his farming, wasn't the point. So, yeah, he was hoeing. Uh, potatoes. But that's, that's not the point. His excellent education. Well, depending on how you define education here, um, it would seem that this sort of education goes, or this, this sort of uh, mindset here goes against what he was taught. He's telling people not to read those books that people generally read when they're good students, um, but to do something practical and enjoy themselves sort of like he's enjoying himself here. Freedom from daily concerns. Let's make, make a little bit more sense. Remember it says, Nothing memorable is accomplished. He's not worried. He doesn't remember what he accomplished. It's not the point. That isn't one of his concerns. Uh, instead, he just enjoys. He's free from the work, from accomplishments, and he then has his opportunity to enjoy himself, enjoy this incessant good fortune, he calls it. Um, so this definitely looks like the right answer. But let's go ahead and look at the last his imagination. Definitely not. This isn't that he's just imagining being, you know, well, having good fortune here seems to be enjoying himself, to be happy. He's not imagining his happiness. Um, he's thinking differently about the world, but that actually causes him real happiness. That actually causes him good fortune. It's not an imagined good fortune. So that's why Estrus D would be incorrect. I hope that helped with this problem, and happy prepping.